about like e girls like back. feet or something, and then they just <laughs> hey. hate. Uh, you know, I'm glad that you're uh, we're able to talk before. I heard you're going on a uh, a trip of some sort. Yeah, a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. I am a rationalist. What Absolutely. is contrary? Like, to I don't think. Uh, I should cut off my pee, yeah. and I don't care if there's a study that tells me I should. That's what it means. Well, good thing there's not just one study, there's an entire <laughs> man. This is I, clearly why you're taking a break from social no. media, obviously, because you're, you're I'm actually- take, Wait, I'm taking a break from social <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm going on a two-year mission to Dodge Hunter <laughs> Avalon. <laughs> There is a conspiracy of Mormons trying to subvert America first. Kai, Yuzi, Wooza, <laughs> Jimbo Zoomer. Call Town, a crypto Mormon. We have tons of Mormons. 0.03% of America is Mormon. So why are they so overrepresented? I, I'm literally never wrong. There is a cabal of homosexual Mormons infiltrating and subverting us, okay? Yeah, every time you bring it up, they just go on to their secret DMs. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kai? What's up, Wooza? You'll see about that when you're trying to get to my planet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> going to King Nub's planet. You, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Wooza! <laughs> we need to crack down on these Mormons, starting with King Nub. <laughs> I know what you are. Say it. Mormon. They start saying, where's the root nose? Time to bring him down. <laughs> Who else owns a crap ton of farmland? That's right, Bill Gates, crypto Mormon. <laughs> hey, listen, all I'm saying is I've never heard Bill Gates disavow Mormonism, all right? This has been a message from the Church of Jesus. Just convert and don't go. No, I'm going. I'm going. My papers are all done. Steven Crowder's changed my mind, where he changes his mind from a comment. Yeah, literally. literally. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I was reading through the chat earlier today, and I saw a message from a gentleman named uh, Penis Man. He told me to submit to Rome, and upon hearing the invitation to become Catholic, I'm the famous African American baseball player in America. On the spot, hey. submitted myself into the RCIA, and will now be becoming Catholic. And then I left. I'm actually becoming Orthodox. Huh? Shut the shit out! Um, somebody in the chat, Nipple Man, sent me a photo of priests smoking cigarettes. They had guns. They looked really based and red pilled. But um, Ortho Bros, I'm sorry, this is not gonna be that stream. I saw a message from Balls Fella. He let me know the movement I'm in is called America First. The founding fathers were actually against Catholicism and orthodoxy. They were actually Protestant. Do you think the Jewish people believe you should be broke? money because your jeans have holes in them. I've actually become Protestant. But then there was a guy named Pajit Groiper. He sent me a photo of a woman in a burqa. And I was thinking to myself, yo, Islam is really based on the women question. 
Thank you, Kai, for taking the Shahada. I'll let you Akbar. So unfortunately, to all my t-shirt wearing, uh, <laughs> church service drum kit, uh, Protestant brothers, because I'm actually, uh, I'm Muslim now. But I got a chat from Sodomy Enjoyer, and he said actually that we're all offspring of the primordial stew. I'm actually an atheist. It's a very good thing to be a monkey. I've been watching Destiny. Stephen is, I'm sorry to say, not quite like other girls. We are all cosmic dust, and nothing really matters. And that really resonated with faith. Faith is, belief belief faith is when you believe yeah. without yeah. evidence. That's what it is. That's why it's faith. called faith. Otherwise, we would call all religions heavens. Faith is the very opposite of science. 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 Science did that. Glad to hear you've become an Orthodox pagan Muslim. Welcome to the one true faith, brother. That was all, of course, a joke. I am still a member of the Church, Church of Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. For a lot of people, they don't really even know what the uh, basics of a Mormon mission are. Some people have seen the, the cool looking guys. They come in duos like a Fortnite, like a duo. Like a duo, like Fortnite or like Fortnite. Fortnite? Will you be able to stream on your mission? Unfortunately, no, I will not be able to stream. It's not a vacation either. It is a very serious religious sacrifice. You have one particular aim, and that is to spread the gospel, to bring others to Christ, to baptize people, to invite them to the church. I definitely did not uh, think that I'd be doing it a few years back even. You going on a mission, Kai? That's something I've been debating. I had a group of friends who I have known since I was literally in kindergarten. And these are guys that I thought I'd be spending my entire life with as close friends. This video is so funny. I cannot wait to show my friends. Kai, you don't have friends. They cut ties. Oh yeah. As much as I come on here and I'm optimistic and I'm the happy guy, I know what we're gonna do whenever we get a big super chat. Yippee! It's been tough, but within all these black pills, there's always a white pill. If I didn't have you guys, it would have really been a bad thing. Me getting into the America First scene, it's called we do a little food reviewing, has made me a better person. It took me out of a point in my life where I was not Christ-like, where I was less religious, less conservative. It took me away from that. I will never betray the support and the loyalty you guys have shown to me. One of the main reasons I hadn't worked on my mission papers and I wasn't even going to go on a mission is because I was worried about missing out on those weekends with friends. And ironically, now I don't really need to worry about that anymore. And it kind of sucks because my friends are no longer my friends. But inadvertently, my mind has kind of been cleared and I can better commit myself to the Lord's works. And as much as it's a struggle, I'm using it to become a better servant of Christ. And that's what God asks us to do. You guys have two years to catch up with me. If I come back and you guys are still smaller than me, even smaller than me. it's over for every one of you. I'm changing my hair to fit the mission. Guys, it's a, it's a Kai Clips reference, guys. Kai got clipped. <laughs> there was a fat moment after I got my hair cut and you just be looking at yourself in the mirror like That's your dough. That's your dough. Elder Schwimmer. Those two years are gonna fly by. I'll be back sooner than you guys know, okay? It is your job to be there for me when I'm back. You're gonna see this like fire in my eyes, this passion for Christ. Yeah. I freaking love you guys. You guys are so freaking cool. You know, we're having all this uh, turmoil. We're having all this conflict, but I'm here for you guys. It's gonna be tough for reasons that I can't really go into, but we will, we'll make, we'll make. I need to stop talking about the personal stuff because I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I don't mean to be that way. I don't mean to get emotional. This is, oh my God. this is not a Kai crying show. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. And I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. And I genuinely love you guys. So, dear Elder Schwimmer, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
You are assigned to labor in the Argentina Mendoza. Uh, I am the AF, uh, who was that guy that committed suicide? Anthony Bourdain. But I'm not gonna commit suicide. Mm. Mm. I see you guys, I'm not streaming on Cozy anymore. I'm gay, I'm going to Argentina. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm really losing it, guys, I'm really losing it. The Clippers are going to <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Kai. Be safe on your mission, homie. Can these guys say something different, dude? Like, it's the same super chat over and over. <laughs> Come up with original yeah, like, content. Mm. Mm. It's so what? I'm Penis Gang Rising. Oh, okay. I'm Suckle Gang Rising. Oh, really? We have high compatibility. <laughs> Hi, my name is Patrick Bateman, but you can call me the American Psycho. Half these people lie, for real. Y'all ain't even care about me that much. <laughs> Who knows? Might proselytize to Hitler. Whoa! Whoa! Innocent people that they bombed and killed? Do you want to know how many that is? Hundreds of thousands. You want to know how many people Ted Kaczynski killed? Seven. And their innocence is arguable. And I'm, by the way, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not, <laughs> that's gonna sound bad. Kai's literally a six foot nine Chad incel rapist, uh, racist, literally true. So many based people give these retarded takes, <laughs> but he killed people. It's like, yeah. We're gonna miss you so much, Kai. Well, I'm gonna miss you too and on. Kill yourself. <laughs> This is the coping mechanism. People are mean to you, take screen recordings of all of them, put them in a folder on your phone and laugh at them. Like, listen to this. <laughs> it's like... You were my favorite behind Nick. Best of luck. Well, Dalton is pretty good behind Nick. Because Dalton's a top. Aww. Yeah. That, that was a sex... That was a sex... <laughs> <laughs> Argentinian Castiza? I think I think we can get a pass. You know what? You get a chimp out too. Dude, <laughs> what a I'm, I'm literally an ape. I gotta stop doing this. I'm gonna watch these clips back in like ten years and I'm gonna think I'm a I'm an idiot. I'm like Alright. <laughs> now I'm out of here. I love you guys. Good night. Uh